Here's something we still hear around the summer racing tech department. I don't want to switch to a synthetic oil because it'll cause oil leaks. So does synthetic oil actually cause oil leaks? Hi, I'm Sean here with Summit Racing. And in this video, we'll sort the facts from the myths about synthetic oil. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our latest videos. Now this myth has been around since synthetics first started to show up in the late 80s and early 90s. And it's simply not true. A synthetic oil or synthetic blend oil will not cause leaks. But like a lot of myths we hear, there's a tiny nugget of truth at the center. So let's dig in. What is the truth behind the oil leak? While synthetic oil won't necessarily cause a leak, synthetic oil can reveal a leak that is already there. This is mostly due to synthetic oils being manufactured in a controlled environment. This control gives synthetic oil uniform and consistent sizes of molecules, while conventional oil or mineral oil has various sizes of molecules in the oil. These different sized molecules can help plug a leak, but at the same time can cause buildup and it doesn't flow as well as synthetic oil, where all the molecules are the same size. Since a synthetic oil has the same size molecules, it flows better than a conventional oil, and that's a good thing. After all, you typically want your oil to creep into the tight spaces between moving parts, right? The problem is, on a high mileage engine that already has worn or damaged gaskets and seals, a better flowing synthetic can work past those seals more effectively and wind up on your garage floor. We're guessing that's where this little rumor got started. More importantly, a synthetic oil can gradually break down leftover deposits from petroleum-based oils, which again is a good thing. But on a high mileage engine, it could remove buildup that is formed around an existing leak. This buildup may have created a temporary seal, but when the gunk is removed, the once forgotten leak begins again. Now most oil seals need to stay in contact with oil to work correctly anyway. When crud starts to form around those seals, it can block contact with the oil, which causes the seal to dry out, shrink, become brittle, and crack. In fact, that's what causes a lot of engine leaks in the first place. Not to mention the fact that sludge can mess with lifters, valves, rings, and a lot of other internal engine parts, which could lead to more serious problems in the future. So removing buildup is always a good thing, and it's a reason why a lot of folks switch to synthetic oils. So should you switch to a synthetic oil? Without knowing your exact vehicle's requirements, we can't answer that question absolutely. What we can say though is that any rumor you've heard about synthetic oils causing mystery leaks or eating away at seals is not true. In most modern engines, your seals were designed for synthetic oil anyway, so it's a non-issue. And if you replaced any gaskets or seals in an older engine with modern components, then they're likely conditioned for synthetics too. Another thing to keep in mind is the cost. Conventional oil is much more affordable than its synthetic counterpart, which is a major reason why people choose a conventional oil. Synthetic oil is more expensive, but it also will not break down as quickly and it will keep the internals of your engine cleaner. Since we're on the topic of engine oils, it is important to note, especially for those of you with engines equipped with a flat tappet camshaft, that no matter what type of engine oil that you choose, you must make sure that it has zinc in it or that you add zinc to your engine oil. Older engines with a flat tappet camshaft must have zinc or ZDDP in the oil, so the life of your valve train isn't cut short. So give synthetics a break, and if you've got specific questions, just give us a call and talk to our tech experts at Summit Racing, and we'll happily steer you in the right direction. <music> 